So this is Guadalupe Zaju, a barrel aged coffee from Mexico. And in this video, I thought I'd tell you a little bit about the process of creating this coffee and also explain to you what I think of the kind of overall flavor and character that we've achieved in the cup. To create this barrel aged coffee, the process follows initially the same process that would be followed for any fully washed coffee. So the cherries are hand picked and carefully sorted to make sure only the ripe cherries are selected. And they, then they are pulped. And that means taking that kind of fleshy outer off and the sticky mucilage that's kind of in there, a lot of that comes off to reveal the bean inside or the seed inside. And it's still covered with quite a lot of the sticky mucilage. And at that point, the beans are fermented for between 15 and 40 hours. Now, if you ever look at beans at this stage, they're gonna look very yellow in color and not the green beans that we're used to. And that's because a thin hard layer still covers those green beans and it's called a parchment layer. Now the beans are dried and they're dried in wood fired dryers. Um, there's not enough of a decent climate on this farm to be able to dry on patios. So it's dried using these wood powered uh, gadiolas they're called and they kind of run at about 40 degrees Celsius until the coffee beans are nicely dry. Now the final stage while they're in that parchment layer is to actually pop them into the bourbon casks and while they're in there they're going to start to take on some of the character of that bourbon cask and they spend about three weeks in the casks and the final stage is taking them to a dry mill where that hard parchment layer is removed and the green beans are finally revealed. Now this is the first barrel aged coffee we've received. I've tried them in the past and I've been a little bit unsure of them. The, the bourbon flavor has heavily dominated the cup and I'm personally not sure how, how I feel about that. I think that the coffee should dominate and that bourbon character should add some interest to the cup. And that's what I found with this particular example here. It's predominantly, it's going to be the coffee itself. That bourbon flavour comes much later. It's a finish to the coffee. It's an aftertaste more than the dominant flavour. It's got a nice acidity. It's quite rounded. It's not too sharp, not too bright. And it's got an overriding chocolate tone. That's the flavour I get coming through with a bit of hazelnut in there as well. It's almost got a nice praline kind of a feeling to it because it's good. It's a bit coating in the mouth as well. And it takes a little while for that bourbon tone to kick in. And I think you get it much better as the coffee cools. And like I said before, it's very much, it's very much in the finish to this coffee. It's what lingers behind. It's what you taste for some time afterwards. Now, we have big discussions here about barrel aged coffees. Some of us like the ones that are more upfront, where the bourbon itself is really kicking through. And others like myself like the more subtle character to the cup. If you've ever tried one, have any thoughts about them, I'd love to hear what you think. This is the example we've got. We've not got a lot of it. It's only going to be around for a couple of weeks. Uh, you can grab one on our website. If you do try it, I'd love to know your thoughts. Thanks for watching and have a great day.